get you more reaction to the developments in Tswane. Now, and to do that, I'm joined by the ANC's regional chairperson for Tswane, Hoshi Maeba, who is live for us from our Cape Town studios this afternoon. And Hoshi, I would imagine that you somehow feel vindicated by the news from the Auditor General's office. Yes, Tembekile, good afternoon to you and the viewers of ENCA. The African National Congress is not only exonerated but vindicated. From the 15th of August, we exposed the, the grand theft and corruption in the history of local government that happened with the Atlet Africa scandal. Um, at the moment, the ANC will push forward and make sure that the Auditor General follow up on the money that has been paid, which is above almost half a billion rent to Atlet Africa, which was irregular and illegal. In following the reaction from Tswane Mayor Solim Simanga this afternoon, he is laying the blame essentially squarely on the shoulders of the city manager, Mweke Zimusola. But the Auditor General in this report that's now leaked somehow says that the mayor also failed in his oversight duty. So how then is Simanga going to face some sort of censure given that he is now the outgoing mayor of Tswane? Tembekile, you will know that uh, uh, the mayor and the city manager are dual and severally responsible for all the actions of council. Uh, Solim Simanga, the corrupt poster boy of the DA, uh, before his resignation, which he had not submitted to the speaker as yet, so he still has to submit his letter. Uh, he was running away, in fact, from this scandal and many others that will expose. But unfortunately for him, lives have short legs, so we have, this has caught up with him, and he will have to answer on this scandal. But moreover, you'll know that the president has actually signed uh, and amended the Auditor General's bill, which means that Musimanga will have to answer and Musola because they are dually and several responsible about the payment, and then the Auditor General might go after to get the money that was irregularly and fruitlessly uh, uh, spent on this Dread Africa company. What we are saying as the ANC is that both the executive mayor and the city manager must take the fall. The mayor must not just simply run away. On the 31st of January, we will ask him to give answers and provide clarity in terms of his role. We have documentation and evidence that proves that the mayor knew about the scandal as early as February 2017. And we have emails that confirm in that regard where he communicated with the city manager and also with the MMC of Finance, uh, MMC for e So as the ANC, we have baking evidence to show that both the trio, the executive mayor, the city manager, and the head of finance were all involved in the scandal, and we have evidence to prove so. And we'll provide that evidence as we will ask that this uh, tender be scrapped and be removed and the money is paid back to the city of Tuani. Let's talk about the evidence you have. Do you believe, I mean, the Auditor General in this report speaks of how this was an irregular process as far as the Glad Africa tender is concerned, but do you as the ANC believe that the intention here or the motivation was corruption? Yes, I mean... Uh the, the, the processes of supply chain were not followed. The Auditor General in his letter actually specified that the city of Tswane in this regard undermined all the laws in the Municipal Finance Management Act, which we call MFMA, undermined the supply chain policy of the city. But moreover, the Auditor General was scathing because he is saying that actually the city of Tswane administration undermined the constitution of the Republic of South Africa, which is a damning finding against the corrupt the administration and the city manager in the city. Hossi, as the ANC in Swane, you were part of an attempt or an effort at least to block the suspension of Mwegezi Mosola, the city manager, at a point. Do you regret having blocked that? The ANC has never blocked uh, anything. Uh, uh, the ANC doesn't regret anything because we have done nothing. What we simply have said as the ANC in November is that we wanted to defer the report to this month because we knew that the Auditor General will come out with the report. So we wanted the timing to be correct. And now we will get a report on the 31st of January. Both the, the mayor and the city manager must account to cancel on this. We did not want to act before we get all the facts. Obviously, the DA was running Helter Skelter, trying to protect and hide their corruption. They even ended up saying to Solim Simanga that he must resign because they knew there was an impending report that will expose the corruption of the DA because the DA in 2016 told people that when they govern, they're clean. We know that veil of secrecy has been removed now. People know what the DA is all about. Where the DA governs, there's huge massive corruption. And in the city of Toronto, we have proved that. All right.
Hoshimaeba from the ANC in Tswane. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon.